And I'm going to go back to those of you that are checking out Christianity. This is going to be one of your major obstacles is that you have to believe that there's a God who interacts with his creation. You cannot hold to the Bible and say God doesn't do miraculous stuff. You have to, have to, have to believe in angels and demons and miracles. And I know it's tough. And I want you to have the space with this church to work out those difficulties. That's what I'm going to, as, as, as the pastor, I'm going to try to just define that space for you where you can go, I really have a hard time with Moses splitting the Red Sea or Jonah being swallowed by a great fish slash whale. We don't know, whatever, right? I have a hard time with the 10 plagues and Jesus rising from the dead and Jesus spitting on mud and putting it on people's eyes and they get their sight back, which was, that one was just weird, right? And like I have a tough time with that and I want to go, yeah, you got space to kind of sort through that. You got space here to, to study that because it's going to be an obstacle for you because we don't see a whole lot of that anymore, right? We just, just don't. And we live in a super material world. Material, when I say materialistic, I, I don't mean like you want a lot of iPads. I mean just it's material, not spiritual, right? And it's tough. And I get that it's tough. And I can empathize with that. But you've got space here that God is a God who shakes prisons and causes earthquakes and the doors open and all of the prisoners are miraculously freed. 